This time I have an even flight. So let's book a taxi. place you can meet lifelong friends there so that's what happened to me um, so what happened was I sat in the plane and then um, yeah I was sitting at my at the window because that's where I always sit because I love flying and watching the views um, but then um, a girl and her mom sat next to me and I recognized their language and they were so excited I was like I think it's their first time flying so when we were up on the air I asked if they wanted to switch places they wanted to the girl was so excited and uh, so that's how our, our conversation started and that's how we talked about Ukraine and the war and how they were um, going to from Krakow to Vienna and then from Vienna to Ankara so while the girl was like really enjoying the views um, I talked with the mom uh, their English was not so good but we smiled and we understood each other and yeah, it was really nice. Then the mom talked about like how she was crying at the airport of Krakow because it was so difficult for her to find out where to go and stuff like that. So I told them, just stay with me. I will take you to the city center of Vienna. I will help you with your hostel. Um, so we went to uh, the train. That took us from the from the airport to the center. So I helped with their heavy bags, and um, we were just in time for the train. And um, then I took us with an Uber to their hostel. But then when we came there, it was like an online-only service, so there was no way they could get in. Um, so I called my hostel to ask if they had a um, place for two more people. Uh, and they had so I took them with an uber again to my hostel and I helped them to book like the room to help fill in the forms and stuff like that and to help to get the Wi-Fi and everything and so thankful and were asking how can you be so kind and I was like well that's that's just normal for me but I feel like it because I live from my heart and with love so and then um, the girl gave me a very big hug when I said good night so this morning we met again um, in the morning when they had to check out and um, Dasha again came and hugged me yeah she's also called Dasha <laughs> And um, yeah, I took them for breakfast and um, they were really enjoying. I even heard a Ukrainian joke. <laughs> and then um, I took them to some places in the city, like some beautiful buildings, because it was the first time really in Europe, besides Krakow, because they didn't really have the time to explore there. So I took photos, we took photos with each other and um, it felt like I was a local showing them places of where I live. Uh, so of course I was also impressed because it is also my first time here. But it was like even more special because their excitement and amazement was like... That touched my heart so much and their big smiles that I was like... Okay, this is first impression of a city on a whole new level for me. So that's maybe why I'm already in love with Vienna. <laughs> And then I got them with a taxi to the train station again and we had some last beautiful moments and um, 
we promise to see each other again and I will bring them my book because now I have a brilliant idea for a second book so of course um, I will bring them one when it's finished just like I will do with Irena and Dasha um, so um, yeah we gave some really big hugs and Dasha even said I love you and that's you know love is not about the quantity it's not about how long you've known someone or things like that but it's like quality the moment you spend that <laughs> depends on the the <clears throat> how much you feel the love for someone so now they're gone and yeah i really love them really special special people forever in my heart <laughs> um, yeah First photo, then play? Yes, first photo and... Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. There were good Oh, my heart. Then 
I took some time to relax in the biggest park here in Vienna. Chill with the locals for two hours <laughs> in the sun, as you can see. And then I was walking through the Innerstadt. Um, yeah, very beautiful, very impressive. Oh my goodness. And now I have to see how I can make this video for you and upload it this evening. So I will go to my hostel. Now walk in the beautiful weather. Everyone is always talking about Paris, but have you seen Vienna? Whoa! beautiful city I've been so far it's wow like all the time big big beautiful buildings I wanted to go to the hostel, but I'm distracted, guys. <laughs> Can you blame me? So these are just museums. Oh, museums. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. Even here are people picnicking. Picnicking. <laughs> Again, 
flowers. <laughs>